Welcome back to Let's Play True to everybody, this is Execute. Now let's carry on where we... Okay, let's not fall in the abyss. That would be bad. I make shot. Ah, this is the culprit. Oh, it's just a charm. Okay, let's, um, headshot him. Ah, workers. What the? There we go. And he completely is oblivious to the fact that I just shot his friend. Oh well. Well this is nice, this is a respawn spot for uh, ammo and health. Seems that there's two of them. Okay, let's uh, go in here. What do we got? Uh, hmm. Okay, I see life force leading to the wall, so I'm assuming that that wall is uh, fake. I was right. Okay, let's take care of the drone first. Out of it, and now for the soldier. There we go. You drop salmon, but I'll pick that up after I kill this little shield generator. Gotcha. Okay, so force field down. I wonder where the uh, force field in question is. Do these doors open? No, that one doesn't. Uh, fake. No. Is this door open? Okay, I'm. Maybe I'm done in this room for now. Let me just uh, double check. Wait a minute. Can I grenade this? Oh. Later on in the level, there will be things where mites come out, and if you throw a grenade in there, they stop coming out and you get a 10 health out of it. But, it doesn't look like that was the case this time. Grab my respawns. Nice, 10 health. Grenade. Uh. Can I go down here? Alright. Okay, they give me mines. So, I guess I'll use mines. Damn it! Why'd they go off? Mines. Like I said, I really love how effective the, mine, the mines on the mines can be. The mines are not effective at all. They just hop around and try to swing at you and... Half the time they don't even do damage, but that one did do damage and made me look like a fag, so... And they're out of it now. The only real problem I've got with the PFM layer is the fact that the ammo for it is only in sets of one. There's no, like, box of mines. So if you want to restock ammo, it um, is a slow process. Get a couple of respawns while I'm up here. NG. And a grenade. Okay, let's, um... No, not that way. Come hither, stupid elevator. Well, I guess we're not going that way yet either. Well, at least I'm back to 101 health. Nice, they're giving me two mines. What did that switch that I hit do then? I heard a door open. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, that answers that question. Fuck. I should have predicted that. That was full shot, me. Thanks, care of me. There's another one. That's clever. Very funny game. And this was a pointless room, but, uh, whatever. Uh, this one's open as well. You know, I bet that way leads somewhere, but let's just, uh, make sure this place is not symmetrical. And, of course, it isn't. I fell into the same freaking trap again. What the freaking fuck is wrong with me today? Take the pointless life force. Okay, now let's go into this door. Another switch. And, of course, locks. Okay. One solution leads to, leads to another problem. Now where am I headed? Let's go back to the respawn spot. Oh. Where did that guy come from? He just kind of like, spawned randomly. 51 health. I should probably be careful. Now this elevator's moving. So let's hop on. Okay, I see more life force. Going down. Ah, new weapon. That is the Cerebral Boar. Cerebral Boar. I'll demonstrate on this guy. If I can get a lock. I can't get a bloody lock. There we go. Very 
very, very messy. The Cerebral Boar is... It's probably the most gruesome gun in this game. It fires a drill that tracks down someone, and, um... Upon making contact, it then drills into their skull, and you saw the fluids coming out. I don't know if he got such a good look because the, uh... Wow, was effective. I don't know if he got such a good look because his head was kind of buried in the roof, but, uh... It proceeds to explode. Um, certain enemies run from it. It doesn't work on certain enemies. Well, there's a feather. I need to find a way to get to that. Um, some of the enemies, the ones, the Perlin especially, it's not very effective at, at all because they can just rip it off their, he off their heads and it won't do anything to them. No, that's, um, well, let's not go that way. I need to find a way to the feather. Oh, here's an elevator. Damn it. Let me on. Son of a bitch. You all didn't say that. That didn't happen. Alright, now that I've managed to actually get on the damn elevator, let's take it to the top. And not go that way. Let's go this way. Well, this is a max 60 ammo. Do I need it? I don't think I need it. I haven't used a pistol in a while. Okay, you see how the charge start failed to stun that? I mentioned in a previous video that um, certain enemies are immune to the stunning effects of the charge start, and that's one such case. Not that you would need to stun such a piss end of an enemy who barely damage you half the time. Let's carry on. Oh, Firestorm ammo. Uh, what's down in that room? Firestorm ammo. Damn it. Your health is needed. Is it? Shit, fuck me, it is too. Let me out of here. Fuck, five health. Okay, never mind, there's full health there. Full health. Okay, I feel much better after that. Uh, I can see reward all these guys, but bugger that, I'll just go with the mines. Explodey. Damn it. Okay, take two of that. There we go, that was much more successful. Alright, let's uh, follow this little corridor. Um, okay. Whoops, that was a bad shot. That's some rather effective looking cover right there, that is. Mm -hmm. Oh, soldier. Why one shot? Lucky me. I don't know if I've ever mentioned it, but I love the sounds that the soldiers make when they die. It makes me giggle. Um. Okay, the feather's down to the left, but I'm going to hop over here first. I think the uh, switch for the warp portal's in this room. Oh, that's a flank throw. Okay, uh... I can see it though. Maybe it's behind the cocoons. Yeah, there it is. Okay, let's uh, hit this. Be careful to get a head trapped in it. Warp portal activate. You can't get your hand stuck in that, like, really, but I have this irrational fear of them. They look dangerous to me. Alright, let's go collect that feather. Shit. Fuck him, let's just rush. Faster. Come on, go. Damn, this guy's accurate as all fucking shit. Fucking piss flaps, he took me down to 25. What a, what a fucking cunt. Oh well, let's go find the warp portal. The hell shouldn't be too big concerned. I can always refill in that middle room. Which is the room I'm looking for. Which is this one right here. Here we go. Okay, let's um go up to the middle. The way to the warp portal is from here. Let me just take a brief moment. Give me a full health, dammit. All these crappy little two healths. I'll take the drone out. Damn it! You couldn't wait half a second? Fine, I'll use the opportunity to restock some more health. And ammo. And that fucking ball sack! It's twice now. It's evil mantids even have evil elevators. Okay, finally I managed to make it on this stupid little lift. So let's, um... Yeah, I'll grab the grenades. And not fall off like I almost did. Here we go. Perfect. The, um... What portal is down here? And, uh, I've got the feather, so I can turn in and get the next talisman. So, let's, um, let's go do that. Let's, uh, go off the feather. Uh, shutting up, do the cutscene. The spirit grants you the Whisperer's talisman. With this talisman, you call upon ancient voices to lift you over areas that may not be crossed otherwise. It's very much a, uh, stupid talisman, this one. It's like Leap of Faith, except, uh, 
slow and annoying and shit. But I'll need it to get the uh, primary chicane level 4. But um, I'm going to end the video here, so thank you very much for watching everyone. Uh, this has been Execute. Uh, take care and stay safe. I'll see you later.